Hey YouTube, what is up guys? How you doing? It is cold here in New England today. It is about 7.30 in the morning and I'm gonna try to nap a fairly big knife blade from a fairly large rock. I'm gonna try to get a knife blade probably from right here. We'll see, there's a few flaws, cracks, lines. We'll see what we can do. It's a very big rock. Hammerstone's getting messed up. So I could see that in here, it's a big crack going through the whole thing. You can see it. And this is a uh, chalky, very chalky. So let's see if we can separate this at all. Maybe. There we go. Oh, okay. Nice big piece here. Um, there's a lot of damage in this one, so I'm gonna save this. And that should make a uh, This a little easier to get to what I want to get to. And hit right here. Helps if you uh, cover your hand when you're using a hammer stone. A little bit of a shock absorber. It doesn't hurt your hand so much. Bigger hammerstone would be good, but I don't really have any at the moment. All right. Let's see what we got here. Whew. All right, so this is uh, actually looking pretty low quality. Thought it was a little more high quality than that. It's chalky. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Very, very chalky. Smells like gunpowder. Smell of gunpowder in the morning. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So we got this piece now. It's chalky on this side. A little wet. All right. Switch tools here. He's a pretty big bobber. Just all these edges just a little so I don't cut my hand. So I gotta get rid of this big chalky piece here. It's gonna be a little difficult. Got rid of a lot of it. 
was right here. I hit there, crumbled, and it peeled right off. One more of those would do well. All right. Lines in the rocks. So, let's see which piece looks better. I'll try both pieces. I thin it out. wanting to make myself a nice blade out of this green for a while now and the problem with it is it always uh, always has this damage in it If you guys ever get flint in your shoe, cut your foot open. All right. All right. So when I'm working this green stuff, it has a lot of crud in it, flaws. And this is about the size I could usually get the blades without it snapping because of the flaws inside. So I'm gonna see what I could do on this. I have lots of rock, lots of rock from that rock if this fails. So let me um, tilt the camera a little. That way. Hit here. See all those lines? It's a problem. That is a problem. Yeah, this looks like looks like it's gonna give me some trouble. Grind wheel, broken. Let's use that to grind. Hit here. Don't know if this one's gonna work. Nope. Blech. All right, so head back to this piece. <laughs> Less problem, but not too much better. 
the angles on this one are a little better. Let me move my chair. Head here. A little bit more. created a spot to hit right here. It's cold. It is cold. Makes it more, it makes it harder to work the rock, more likely to snap. But whatever, man. Do it anyway. Right here. All right. This is looking a little better than the other piece. Whew. Whew. Get rid of some of this damage if I can. Pretty bad. that ah. <sighs> I'm not gonna do any uh, pressure flaking at all on this today because I wound up hurting my shoulder again wasn't even sure if I was gonna do a video today So this video is going to be uh, just percussion blade. Which is how I've actually been doing it for years now. Due to this injury. All right, we're doing what we can with not so great rock. So this spot here is gonna give me a problem. I'm gonna try to knock it away from right here, see if I can get rid of most of it. I don't know. Don't know. Um, er. Okay. Problem rock. Problem rock. Problem rock. I try right here. Yeah. Whew. Getting there. 
And again, I have some really nice flakes here for points. Keep your flakes. If you're napping anywhere, pick them up. Make sure people don't step on them. You don't confuse any archaeologists. The challenge of this stuff is really uh, why I like napping it, <clears throat> as well as this is some of the sturdiest rock I've ever come across. You could use this and use this and use this and it will not dull. So I really like this stuff for my knives. I have a friend up in Canada, he has a YouTube channel called One Wild Crafter. And he used this rock. I made a knife for him. And he used this rock to skin and gut and process an entire deer. And I'll actually, uh, I'll link that video if you guys are interested at all to see these uh, knives in action. What uh, Flint is capable of, which is a lot. So there's a lot of damage near the tip of this blade up in here. I'm going to try to fix it. It's going to make it a little shorter, but I'm going to cut this edge off. Ah, hinged it. That's uh, actually a, a little crack in the stone there, in the middle. Only goes to right there, so that's no problem. trying to knock away these lines in the rock. I do want my blade to be about this size, so I'm not gonna knock away too much of the tip. I'm gonna try to thin it from here, hit here to knock flakes off that way. You know what would help? Hand warmers. It's things you put in your pockets. Warm your hands. I don't even know how cold it is right now.
knife I made for uh, one wild crafter. His name is uh, Jeremy. It was not much thinner than this. I used something like this to take apart a whole deer. I want mine to be uh, just a bit thinner, if I could pull it off, just a little bit thinner, without breaking it. With this rock, since it has so many flaws in it, you're going to want to be uh, really careful. If you're working creek rock, be careful of that damage. Make sure you support it really well when you're hitting it. What I mean by support, hold the whole piece and hold your fingers where you want to di direct the flakes. Like I'm gonna hit right here. I'm gonna pinch it and hope that the flake travels along my finger. Like that. Okay. <laughs> well, if you look here, you could see what happened. Guys, so um, I did record a video, but I ruined the knife. So I'm gonna work on uh, some slab, some slab, ground slabs. And we'll see how that goes. Whew. Hands are cold, that's not helping any. Jasper, I think. We'll see how this goes. Nice stuff. Not too sure what this stone is. Looks like some uh, jasper, rough jasper. Lower this down a little bit so that I have spots to hit. Man, this stuff's making some nice flakes. Alright.
Nice. Stuff's way better than the stuff I'm working. The green stuff. Look at that. Definitely gonna get a blade out of this. I don't see any flaws in it, really. Oh, my hands are cold, man. I didn't even have my coffee yet. All right. Half asleep and doing this. Go. There is a little damage, a little tiny bit right there. That might be a problem, we'll see. So flip it over, and we'll try to get rid of the damage here. Almost. That did it. Crushed it all out. There's still a line in there, so I'm going to have to knock that off. Line right here. Okay. I don't have to be as careful with this rock, but the rock is freezing cold, so with that you do want to be careful. nice got to get rid of that bump and this side has some uh, lines in it just a little bit that I got to be careful of okay Don't breathe in that dust you see, even if you're outside. I hold my breath when I see it. OK. 
Okay, so there's a little bit of a turtle back there. And I actually got to be careful because that's right where that line runs. See that dust? Don't breathe that in. Breathe that in, you could get something called silicosis, and you don't want that. Look it up. Okay. try to hit right there. I shouldn't, but I'm going to try anyway. Going pretty good. see the, the damage in here, right there. So we're not going to mess with that area anymore. Trim it just a little. Got rid of it. Did get rid of it. So if you are napping in the winter and you're new to napping, uh, something I did not know was you are more likely to break rocks when you are napping in the cold. I used to, I used to wonder, because I napped a lot in the winter, because New England. I was like, why do I keep breaking everything? That's, that's probably why. I'm just shaping it. I'm not going to thin it too much more. I do have to thin the base a little bit. I don't know what this is. It's some kind of jasper. I like it. Just thin that just a little. Now, I will not be putting notches in this. Purely a 
percussion blade that you can use and hit in there. Not awfully hard because I don't want to break it. Just enough that I could fit it on a stick and haft it. Now, with this blade in particular, it's pretty sharp, but this would need to be a little pressure flake to sharpen it up. So before you use it, make sure you pressure flake it. You get those edges nice and super sharp. There we go. I can thin it more which I might, just a little. All right, so I'm just gonna try to thin this a little bit. And on the other side, thin right here. Okay. There we go. So we destroyed one blade. No fault of our own. Damaged rock. But when you have rock that isn't damaged, get some pretty good stuff. Pretty good knife blade. This will this will definitely take apart a part of deer. Put this on a handle, sharpen it up, good to go. All right, guys. It's really cold. I don't know how long that was. You have a good one. See you soon. Hope you're all enjoying winter. Whew. See you guys.